is recording. Yeah, there we go. Hello, thank you everyone for coming to my POL. My name is Kyle McDee. Okay, so my first artifact is time management. William Shakespeare once said, better three hours too soon than one minute too late. Over, the over this first semester of MPX, I've learned a lot about time management. And it's really help. And time management is really important because you don't want to be running around not knowing what you have to do, and in the long run, it will affect you negatively. Also, your work is not at your best if it is not if um, you don't take your time. So, the time management is one of the most important skills to have for life. And um, so, one of my one of the projects that I did that really helps with time management was our heroes project and what we had to do was we had all this stuff to do and we had to get it done in a pretty short amount of time and in order to get this all done well you really had to manage your time and make sure everything was done consistently so these are some of the things we had to do like brainstorming a hero, make interview questions, schedule an interview, do a photo shoot, sketch an outline, a review, um, so this is a lot, we had to do a lot of stuff and I managed my time and it really showed me how important it was because the outcome was really good. Let's go to the computer. Should we bring the cursor down? Oh, are you okay there? That is why it's important to find out all the work that needs to be done. So before you do an assignment, um, I learned that you need to find out everything that needs to be done and you need to space it out um, within time so you know when it has to be due and what you have to do. So it's there. Click the arrow on the bottom. It's gonna go to the no, I'm trying to click to the picture. Over there. Okay, there. So this is a picture of the Heroes Project, and in the end, it was a big success. My next artifact is critical thinking. Okay, what is the first thing you do when you get an assignment? But before I came to MPX, I was pretty, I didn't really think through what I was gonna do. I would kind of just wing it, and I, would, I wouldn't really think about my assignment rather than just do it. Um, straightforward. So when I first came to MPX, Ms. Caliber actually forced us to plan out our thoughts and put it out of our head and on paper and organize our thoughts with either a web or some sort of graph or something. So um, don't wing it. Get your thoughts organized on paper because if you get your thoughts organized, it'll be better. Your work will be better. So this is a picture of me just like sketching out some stuff. Um, so one of the projects that really helped me with this, with this, like learn this, is our summer reading project for the Alchemist. Um, we had to like make a timeline of all the main events. So I made a map, I made a web of everything, all my ideas on um, how to make the project more creative and fun. And then I did all the pros and cons of each idea, and then I finally got my idea. And by doing this critical thinking, not only did it make me think more and it made my work better, but it also helped me understand what the book was about more and it helped me understand myself more. And this is a picture of my final alchemist map. It's like a road and it's just getting bigger and bigger the accomplishment. Okay. My third artifact is peer editing. So no one is perfect and that's why it is important to peer edit your work because when people peer edit your work, they can see things that your eyes may not be able to see. Um, editing your work with peers is important so they can give you suggestions and it'll bring you more ideas. Um, if you don't, ha if, before I came to MPX, I didn't really peer edit my work either. I kind of would just turn it in and I would get like not so good of a grade on it they would say like you need more information, but peer editing my work 
in MPX has really showed me the importance of it, the importance of peer editing my work. And in the beginning, I thought it was kind of a waste of time. But um, not only did I get information from others peer editing my work, but by me peer editing others' work, I learned a lot. And it gave me ideas on what I did good and what I could improve on. Um, so two is better than one, so don't limit your ideas to just your, your own. Um, also, yeah. And then this is just a picture of an infographic and like what your work should look like when it's peer edited. It's not really what I actually did. Okay. Working as a team. Okay, so MPX is project-based learning, and so that is why it's really important to know how to be a good group member, because MPX is all group work. So the things that make up a, group, a good group member is someone who contributes their fair share, someone who is kind to their peers, listens to others' ideas, and is willing to make a compromise. Before I came to MPX, I never, I haven't really, I didn't really work with groups that much, so I wasn't really familiar with having to put my trust in others to get their work done. And so that was really new for me. So in the beginning, I was a major control freak, I will admit, because I wasn't used to putting my trust into others and, and expecting that they'll get the work done because I always, I only knew that, like before I came to MPX, it was only me. So I only had myself to rely on. So my big challenge was, trusting that others would take care of their fair share of work and I feel like I, us as a group have really improved on working together. And I also learned that when things get tough, it is really important to just pull it together and work through it. Um, for example, when we were building our table in the very beginning, um, we didn't make like a proper draft, so we ended up wasting a lot of wood and we had to come up with a solution to get more wood to finish our table. And that was a problem, but we worked together and finished that, so. Yeah, I don't know what it's on. So this is a picture of my group and I at Home Depot after getting all our stuff. <laughs> Okay, technological skills. I learned a lot of technological skills for our, and it, having to do our year-long hydroponics project. Um, quite frankly, I thought this, this technological part of just building the table and putting it all together was going to be easy because before that we had to map it all out and do it to scale and we had to get all the calculations for the wood and we had to calculate all the materials we needed and the cost. So I, and I didn't really like, like that numbers part of it, so I figured the building part was the part that I would really excel on and like the most. But it was actually the hardest part because we didn't, we, we never used tools before that. So it was really new and we kind of got frustrated with each other a lot. So, but I mean our table came out pretty wobbly, our first table, and our second table actually came out very sturdy. So I am confident to say that we have improved a lot with our technological skills and I am very confident on using tools and using them safely. But it took many tr tries and practices. Yes, Mr. No, no, you have one minute. Oh, okay. So overall, I feel like I have learned a lot in MTX and I feel like it'll help me a lot in the future. Um, because I feel like I've learned so much in just one semester rather than one year. Um, I just feel like I've grown a lot as a learner and as a worker. So thank you everyone for watching my PLS. Okay, okay so um, now I would like you guys to ask her a few questions or make some comments about our POLs. It's an important part of our process. Um, I'll start by saying that, Kyle, what I liked about your presentation and what you presented was 
the fact I get I get a feeling you you have a lot of humility, meaning that you you're 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 a humble person and can understand when you have some faults and you're not ashamed to admit you have faults, but you're willing to work on them. And that's a very important thing about thing that people should have. Yeah. So good. Thank you. Um, do you have anything to say? Because you're smiling at me. Um, I thought that your, pre- like your whole, um, Prezi was really organized, and it was. I like the color, too. Um, I like on your Prezi how you had like little quotes of like, it didn't look like just small information. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Anything she could improve on in terms of her Prezi or presentation skills? I had a positive comment. Yeah? Uh, before you started, you seemed nervous, but you didn't show it when you were presenting. That is admirable. Oh, thank you. In the first five minutes, or the first half, you were kind of nervous, and then you got rolling, and then you were okay after that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, I felt like you had a lot of information that was really good, um, but you had a little bit too much words on some slides, and it was kind of some of them were hard to, um, to understand. But overall, it was, it was really good. Thank you. Okay.